Sort of in on that one. Cool. Okay. So let's give it like a few seconds until some people jump on. Damn it. There we go. Cool. So, take a few seconds. So, I'm up here in Maine with my family on a little mini vacation, um, a little workcation. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, just go ahead and drop it in the comments. And after we talk about everything, we'll go over whatever questions were, uh, were dropped. But uh, we're going to talk about, you know, staying healthy while on vacation today. So we're going to go over some fitness, some nutrition stuff, some mindset stuff. Um, but that's really yep. all we're doing today. So it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, nothing nothing huge because uh, we're on vacation. So I'm going to be heading out after this. And unfortunately, you guys can't see the view because we have all the fog here in Maine. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. Nobody on Facebook. All right. So. How far we're we're a minute in, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's just start off with kind of the big one, which is always just like fitness stuff and whether you should work out on vacation. So Benj, do you have any advice on like working out while on vacation? What do you do? So kind of the approach I go is like if you're on vacation, your workouts are never gonna be perfect. So if you're going in the mindset of like I'm gonna stay on that exact routine and every workout's going to be amazing. You kind of got to get out of that and instead go in the mindset of, yeah, you might miss a workout or maybe you don't get the workout at all. And, and first accept that and be okay with it. And then the second thing is kind of have an idea of, okay, if you get a chance to work out, what might it be or, or where might it be or what might you do? And so this past week, I, I figured, hey, I might be able to get in a workout with my best friend. And then because at my brother's house, he's got some equipment, um, some workout equipment there. And I fully expected nothing. Um, and the, the main idea was when I go do those workouts to, to have fun with them. When I worked out with my best friend, um, that ended up being an amazing workout. It was some great equipment, but I got to do some stuff I haven't done in a long time, and I, I had some great lifts. And then when I worked out at my brother's, I had one of the worst workouts I've had. <laughs> and I think that was just all the travel catching up with me. And so it, as soon as I was like, okay, this workout's not going how I thought it was going to, I can just switch, and I, I did some other stuff. I was like, well, instead of letting this workout kind of – get me down and I get disappointed I was like I'm just gonna do a you know, complete 180 and and do something different and and that's kind of the biggest thing I think is like when you're doing vacation workouts try and try and make them fun and enjoyable and and that's exactly what I did with my best friend it was a great workout and when the workout at my brother's house wasn't going so well I I switched and I, I made that more fun and enjoyable and so when I was done with it it was like sweet that was a good workout and the plan this week is if I work out maybe some body weight or band stuff, or, you know, we'll just do the hiking and, and that'll be, you know, I won't worry about it for the rest of this week. It's like, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So <clears throat> if you guys like go and work out a ton and then you only go on vacation, like once or twice a year, like use that as time to recover from your workout. So if you're really beating up your body all year long with weights, use that as time to get off. But if you do do like a, decent amount of traveling and vacations make a few workouts a priority but don't like don't plan for like i have to do one hour workouts like make a plan for like i'm gonna do like 20 30 minutes and then get a sweat going call day if you have time you want to do hour workouts great but i know for me on vacation i don't want to do hour-long workouts i want to go out hiking and fishing and kayaking so i'll probably hit like a few like 20 minute workouts and then call it a day like push-ups pull-ups some band stuff some arm stuff some squats that's it nothing crazy um but you guys can also just be active so depending like if you go to the beach and you just want to chill and you're just gonna be sitting on the beach all day there's nothing wrong with that but you might want to do some workouts but if you're going like the vacations i like to do where 
you know, I'm going to be active. I'm going to be hiking each day or walking or kayaking. Like then you don't have to worry about the workouts as much because you might be outside for a couple hours doing stuff. So it all depends on what you do for a vacation. Yeah. Like if you're, you know, cause we're up in Maine, I know Christopher likes to go up to Acadia. Those are some seriously intense hikes. So if you're thinking, Hey, I got to work out before I go out on the day and you're about to do an <laughs> eight hour hike and just completely crushing yourself on that hike. It's doing that workout was kind of po- pointless. Not, not that it was a pointless workout, but you're about to go do some intense activity. Uh, so it's kind of counterproductive to do both yeah. and you're on vacation. So you should do the hike and just do that versus worrying about that, that workout. Yep. So that's it guys. If you're super active on vacation, don't worry about your workouts as much um, or at all, depending on how often you go on vacation. And then if you're just doing like a super chill vacation, you're just chilling at a resort or a beach, maybe get a few like 20, 30 minute workouts, something like Ben said, like super fun, doesn't need to be super scheduled. Like if you're like, I want to try out all the different machines they have. I know that was like Jason Ferrugia. He did that. He's like, I go on vacation and I get all this new equipment I don't have access to. I just go to do like two sets of everything. Like just have fun with it. Yeah. I see Bill just, just tuned in. Uh, that was kind of what we were doing at the gym. It was like, okay, we got some of our main lifts, but it was like, all right, yeah, let's, let's try this instead of, you know, what the program said, you know, there were small little changes, but it was like, yeah, let's try that or let's do this. And, you know, he wanted to learn some muscle ups. And so it was like, I was like, yeah, let's, let's do some of those. And it was just, we were having a good time. And because he and I were working out together and just more like hanging out with that, it wasn't like, oh, like we got to get in and get out. on. It was just like, I'm hanging out with my best friend. We're having a good workout. We're having fun doing what we're doing. And it's like, who cares how long it takes? Um, and, but before we move on to the next thing, like, uh, I, I like to go to Greenville, South Carolina, and they have a, a wonderful bike trail. And, and I, Bill said it was a blast. It, it was a blast. Um, they have a wonderful bike trail, and I really love biking. So it's a lot of times I'll just rent a bike and I'll just bike all day long. And it's, you know, who cares about working out? Because I, I just biked 10, 20, 30 miles just casually. It's like, I, I don't need to work out if I just biked that much. Um, yep. And I'm having a good time doing that. So let's move on to uh, nutrition because, okay, the, the workouts, they're not super important while you're on vacation, but nutrition, like if your goal is weight loss, well, we got to pay attention to it a little bit. Um, so one thing like I would recommend is while you're on vacation, you should enjoy yourself. You should go and eat out of restaurants and experience foods you don't have back at home and everything. But yeah. if you do have a goal of weight loss, trying to make two out of those three meals fairly healthy. So like don't go and have like the giant stack of like 16 pancakes for breakfast. And then you go and have the, the double burger with a pound of fries for lunch. And then the uh, cheesesteak for dinner, like try to make it um, a little healthy, at least two out of the three meals. Don't go like all out. All the time again if your goal is to gain weight it's a different story but yeah. that's one out of the many of you watching this right now and a lot of times what i like to do on vacation is you know this is just good like for every day it's kind of like how you start your day is usually like the path your day is going to go when i'm on vacation i usually like to start my day with something healthy even if it's just something simple it's uh like if, if I go to the city, it's like, okay, where can I get like a good smoothie or, or juice? When I was in Greenville, I did the same thing. You know, even here, uh, I, I made up a, a smoothie for my dad and I, my, my brother had a smoothie because it's like, yeah, maybe later today we're going to have some other things that we, we don't typically do, but it's like, yeah, we started off the day healthy and, and pretty good. And none of that is high calorie. And now it's, now we've got time to enjoy the other stuff the rest of the day. Like if mom is giving us a bunch of wine with with (laughs) dinner, like last night, you don't have to feel like, Oh, you know, I, I had a a lot of calories earlier. I I can't enjoy myself 
um, at, at this time. So yeah, like my brother said, it's, it's, it's picking and choosing, um, you know, where, where you want to have certain things it, you know, if I'm going to have some dessert type things, I might limit to one or two. And it's like, yeah, I go to every single place. It's like, oh man, that looks good. And that looks good. And that, but I, I kind of hold off. I'm like, I'm not going to eat all of it all day long. It's like, okay, I, I really do want to try that. But I go to the next place. It's like, yeah, oh, that looks good. But you know what? I had that thing earlier and, and there is something I want to have later. And so I just hold off and it's, um, it's just kind of picking and choosing everything. Just yeah. like you said, you want the pancakes and the burger and the cheesesteak, well, maybe pick one or, or two, not not all of it. Yeah, and then you're just going to feel better. Um, I do see we got a few new viewers tuning in, so if you guys have any questions, anything you want us to answer, just drop something in the comments, and we'll answer it after we're done with everything here. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, pick a few healthy choices while on vacation, but do enjoy yourself. Like, find a restaurant you really want to go to, and if there's something crazy on there you really want to try, like, don't stress out about it. Just have it. Just like the rest of the day, eat a, a little bit better. It's not to say you have to only eat chicken breast on salad the other two meals a day, but, you know, just pick healthier options. And uh, I know I just went over this with my clients last Thursday of picking and choosing healthy options. Like, you know, like a protein and a veg is usually the best when you go out. So like, even just like a steak and broccoli when you go out, it's a lower calorie than like getting a burger with a salad. Like, yeah. Just make smart choices and then enjoy one of those choices. Like go out and don't, don't stress out so much about it. Because again, it, it is vacation and you're supposed to be experiencing things you don't get back home. Yeah. And to, to go with that of, you know, every culture is a little different. Every country is a little, you know, depending on where you're traveling. So, uh, you might go to Italy and, you know, the starches or carbs are more of like breads and pastas. But if you go to like Asia, it, it's going to be more of like rices. But all, all that's still fine because if you're just thinking, okay, I need, you know, a protein, a vegetable and, you know, a carb or starch. Well, kind of use it. What does that country or culture like make their meals around? Um, and, and even, you know, north and south of okay, you know, in the South, maybe it's going to be more rice and, and grits and things like that. Um, and, you know, shrimp and fish, um, where up, up North, it might be a little bit different, but if you're just looking at your meals of, oh yeah, I need a protein, a vegetable and a carb, you can just structure your meals and what you choose around what the, uh, you know, the local food is essentially. Yep. Um, now I forget what I was going to say from there. Um, Crap, I told it. Oh, oh, I know. So sometimes the, the big thing that's a challenge to get while you're on vacation is protein. And so something you can do is just make sure you like take a protein powder with you or get one like a decent one once you get to your spot or even just some like really good protein bars. Um, like the, uh, the Axe and Sledge ones are pretty good. Um, there's a few others out there, but stuff like that, or even just some like high protein snacks to have on hand between meals. So then, because if you're on vacation and you need a snack, sometimes uh, all that's available is ice cream. And that yeah. might not be the best option. Take some snacks with you or have some like protein powder or meal replacement powder with you. And that's gonna really help you out as well. Yeah, when, whenever I fly, especially, I always pack some stuff in my bag and usually it, it falls under, <clears throat> um, you know, two things I'm looking at is like how, how many calories are in the thing and, and how much protein. And it's usually foods that will hold me over. Like if, if I'm traveling and flying, it's, it's easy to eat. I, I know it's okay to eat on the plane or in the car. Um, it, it's, it's nothing that's going to get flagged if you're going through security. Um, but also I know the calories of it and I, I know the protein content of it. And usually there are things that are like 200 to 400 calories for the entire thing. And, you know, it's around 20 grams of, of protein. So once I get to my destination, depending on how many of those uh, snacks and things I've eaten, maybe I've only eaten, you know, 600 calories for the day at this point. And so now wherever I'm at, it's like, man, you know, I've got all these calories I still have left to eat at, you know, some nice restaurants or 
or wherever I'm, I'm going. And, and so it's, you know, then you can enjoy yourself more. Um, but at the same time, your snacks were helping you towards your goal, you know, when you were getting there. Yep. And then some supplements you guys should definitely take along with you. Like, like I said, the protein powder and meal replacement powder, but definitely take along like a multivitamin if it's yeah. not in one of those, because you're going to be eating stuff that you're not supposed to. You're going to be in a new environment. So you're going to be exposed to, you know, different allergies and bacteria and stuff like that, that you're not used to. So it's just going to help keep you healthy. Um, the greens powder is also really helpful to bring with you if you have it. Or if, again, if that's mixed into like a meal replacement powder, then it's all in one, but some greens because you're probably not eating enough veggies and a multivitamin just to keep you healthy. Um, so that way when you're done with vacation, you don't get sick. Yeah. And going, going back to what we talked about in the first topic, kind of starting your A lot of times, exactly what Christopher just said, I'll, I'll have a, a multi uh, or a, a greens powder. And, and that's like the, the first thing I do in the morning. It's I wake up and I have some, have some water, um, at, which is actually a good point, which lead into um, next. Um, yeah, but, I forgot to put water in. Uh, oh, I have the greens powder, and, and it's like right there, it, it kind of helps cleanse you from whatever uh, goodies you might have eaten or drank the day before. And so you start the day off feeling pretty good, and then you go through your, your digestion's good, um, you know, going, because this is a big thing, uh, which a lot of people don't talk, you know, just going to the bathroom normally <laughs> on vacation because, you know, your whole schedule has changed is it's still important because if you're not feeling good that way, you're not going to enjoy your vacation as much and, and nobody wants to not feel good on vacation. So it's kind of sticking to a little bit of your daily routine that way, you know, your even your digestive system is staying on track. So starting with the multi or the greens, first thing is always good. And it's boosting your immune system because, again, you've traveled on the plane and you're around, you know, lots of different things and you're in contact with new people and, and all that. And there's nothing wrong with any of that. I don't want you to think, like, you shouldn't do any of that, but it just keeps your immune system strong. And then you can enjoy your vacation yep. uh, much better. And when you get back, you don't end up getting sick, too. Yep. Um, so let's just roll right into the last part so we don't go way over time like we usually do. So just mindset with it. So the big thing, you know, you're on vacation, you're supposed to enjoy yourself. So that's the mindset you should be going in with. with it's like, how can I enjoy myself and still move towards my goals? And just following those steps are going to be a big one. And then just not like stressing too much about it. And again, like if you feel better, you're also going to enjoy everything better. So even though like if you ate a gallon of ice cream, you had a giant cheesesteak and you had 14 tacos in the day. Like you might have enjoyed yourself during that time, but the next day you're going to feel like dog poop. Like you're going to have major bloat and you're going to be like waking up like, oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have had 14 whiskeys last night and the gallon of ice cream. So, you know, a little bit of moderation goes a long way. Uh, make sure you stay hydrated. Don't stress, but also make a few choices and you're going to have way better time than if you just like go all out binging on pizza and just feel like garbage the whole time. Yeah, kind of the way I do it is enjoy yourself a little bit each day versus literally day one. You just like you just said, yeah. you go all out crazy on day one and then you feel like junk the rest of the vacation. Enjoy yourself you know, a little bit each day on, on what you're having and and stuff like that. So like you said, one meal, you know, or, you know, a couple of these snacks, you know, each day, you know, a, a drink or two eat each day versus just getting hammer drunk night one and downing, you know, a million tacos. And then, like you said, you, you feel like junk the rest of the time. Yeah. So let's see. I, I didn't see any comments on Facebook. Well, while he uh, looks, I'm, I'm sharing just driving get... snacks. Driving snacks. That's oh, yeah, a good perfect. one. So go ahead into that one. Driving snacks. So what not to do? Trail mix. I have taken trail mix, and it sounds like a great option until you eat half the bag, and you're like, that was a thousand calories in nuts and chocolate, and I'm still not full. I, I was still just talking to dad about that yesterday. Yeah. So 
trail mix is fun. Like I love trail mix for hiking. So I usually bring it on vacation or buy it once I get to a spot for hikes and doing the other stuff I want to do, but terrible option. Like in the car, protein bars, protein shakes, things like that are a little bit better. But the other thing you don't want to do is like the quest bars, which are full of fiber and you have to drink a bunch of water. Otherwise, like, and then you don't want to drink too much while you're driving because you don't want to be stopping every 30, yeah, stop. 30 yeah. minutes. So be careful with getting too much fiber because that's going to kind of bind you up. And then even though it's like healthy, you just get that bloat and you're like, oh, my stomach feels off because you're just sitting all day. Um, I, I like to do, as far as fruit is concerned, something like an, an apple or, or two apples. Um, and with fruit, I'll usually do no more than maybe two servings of, of fruit while I'm traveling. Exactly for the reason he just talked about is, uh, you know, fruit's awesome, but you don't want to have, you know, too much fiber uh, while while you're driving. You want something that digests easily and, and fills you up. And and that's why I like an apple, because one, one medium-sized apple is about four to five grams of fiber. It's only like 80 calories, but they're very filling for just one apple. And... You don't have to peel it. You don't have to, you know, the only thing that's left is you might have a core and you, know, you can easily you don't eat that part. Some people like to eat the core. <laughs> I, don't. Um, I used to in high school, <laughs> I'd eat everything but the stem. But uh, the only thing that's left is the, the core. And so you can put that in a napkin or um, like if you've got a, a cup holder and when you get to a rest stop, you can throw that out. But you're not having to, to peel it. Your hands aren't all messy afterward. Like, even eating an orange, you got to peel an orange, and then when you're eating it, if it's not perfect, you might have orange juice uh, on your hands. A banana too, like the peel, you know, it gets all sticky, and then so it's easily consumed fruit that is, you know, either you know even grapes in a bag yep. would would be a good one because they're they're already pre-bagged and you can just eat them you know one at a time, uh, you know some a handful of baby carrots yep veggies are good baby carrots celery cut up bell peppers cherry tomatoes things like that um just make sure you, you don't bite the cherry tomato halfway just put it the explodes. whole thing <laughs> i've had just a bit when it exploded all over me while i was driving um and that's a giant mess on the car um so yeah, easily consumable and non-messy like yeah fruit and veggies um and then as far as protein is concerned, I, I always like to pre-make a protein shake. And then you had said, you know, essentially having it, uh, you know, in a little pouch and bag yeah. or the, the protein bars that y you do well with. Yeah. Um, you like the Axe and Sledge. Uh, I've been doing some Finnabars lately from Biotest and then on it. Yeah, those are good. On it has these great little protein bites that I really yeah. like because they... They're packed with um, healthy fiber, a fruit and veggie blend, and a decent hit of protein. And and Bill is actually the first one to ever uh, get those for me, and I recommend it to them uh, to a lot of people afterwards. And everyone's really enjoyed those. Yeah. Or you can obviously like if you had time now. I've never had time to do it before vacation, but you could always make up your own protein bars or like the protein truffles, where you like kind of roll up protein powder, peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah, I never, but um, on like, if you're like super insistent, like I am going to be bringing trail mix. I know I like to snack on it, portion that shit out. Otherwise you're going to be eating all of it. So just put the big bag of everything in the back. So whether it's trail mix or maybe you do like to snack on, say like, I know a few people like peanut butter pretzels or something, just portion it out. Find out where the portion is. See how many servings of that you want, whether it's one, two, maybe some of you can afford three. And portion that into bags ahead of time. That's what's up by you. Everything else is in the back of the car where you have to go to the stop, open up the trunk, find it. So just do that. Um, don't make it super easy where you can just like stick your hand in and do this. Because, again, that's where people are going Every to Every handful is literally a serving. Yeah. A trail mix? Yeah, yeah. every handful is a serving. So that's, you know, but get like high protein snacks. Veggies are great snacks. Or um, the protein bars we recommended. 
or just portion whatever your favorite snacks are out, and then you're going to be okay because not portioning out, you're going to be in trouble. And again, it depends on the way you're traveling. Um, yeah. We, we were in the car in the RV, and what mom had done for the RV was she got some healthy lunch meat. It's high protein. Again, you're traveling. It's it's not the worst thing in the world. And so you can either make up some small sandwiches or, or lettuce wraps or literally just have, you know, you've got the lunch meat and, you know, you can just eat some of that. And that that's a perfectly fine snack. Um, it, it, it all depends on your situation. Like if you're getting on a plane, obviously you probably can't do that. Uh, and if you don't have like a cooler or something like that, then, yeah, obviously yeah. don't go with that option either yeah so planes a little different obviously but um a lot of times it's going to be more like for the bleh, the bars for me are the big ones for the plane versus like driving you're going to do like protein shakes and stuff so it all depends yeah. on how you travel so uh, i i know we skipped over the the water thing um i'm just going to touch yep. on it real quick my number one tip no matter where you go uh or how you're traveling like your first thing should be getting water and so the first thing I do when I get to the airport as long as I have time and, and that all comes down to time management I get to the airport I'm I know where my gates at I make sure I've got time I go get a couple bottles of water because you can't rely on them giving you something to drink on your flight and what if you're delayed? So now, yeah, they gave you a little sippy cup worth of water, but now your flight, which was 45 minutes, is now four hours. So uh, go get one to two big bottles of water, and whatever type of water you get, um, you know, is, is fine. Just just make sure you have water. When you get to your destination, same thing. Uh, sometimes a hotel will give you a bottle of water, but usually that's all you've got. So if you can go down right around the corner to a little convenience store, uh, depending on the length of your stay, you know, get a couple bottles of water or some of the half gallon things. It all depends on the length of your stay, but make sure you've got water on hand. That way, when you wake up, you can you can drink some water when you wake up. Your coffee maker, you've got some fresh water to put in the coffee maker versus using what's in the sink. When you're going to bed, you've got water to mix your greens, your protein shake, literally everything that we just talked about you're going to probably need water for it but if you're just relying on the little 16 ounce water bottle that they gave you when you checked in you're kind of screwed um so that it yeah if you're at a hotel airport go get water then enjoy the rest of your vacation <laughs> yep all right we are out of time so we gotta go so take this any any other questions Peter? nope all good? No, but we are seriously out of time, so we got to go. Just checking. So that's it, guys. So, again, any other questions, go ahead. You can comment or send us a DM, and we will be happy to answer them. But thanks for tuning in. And, again, we'll, we'll do it next week about this time as well. All right. All right. Let's end on.